Andrew McLean, Radio Clyde. Steve, how do you assess what you saw from your team out there today? Give it everything. I um, don't think you can fault the effort. It was a very tough game, good opponent, very close game. It was always going to be decided by the first goal. You could tell that after half an hour. Unfortunately for us, when we opened up towards the end of the game to try and chase the win that, that we, f we felt we needed to get to the next stage, uh, we got caught in counter and we lose the game 1 0. But I don't think there was anything between the two teams. Raman. Uh, Raman Bardwaj, STV. Steve, what was your view on the non award of a penalty? 100% penalty. Somebody somewhere has to explain to me why that's not a penalty. It's 100%. And like I said, there's a one-goal game, we get the penalty. It can be a different night. I've got other words, but I'm not going to use them. Robert. Hi, Steve. Robert Grief from The Sun. The referee was as Tyrion. Was that explained to you? Is that a surprise to you? European competition. Might have been better to have a European referee. But we had European VR, and maybe the referee didn't see the, the challenge clearly on the pitch. So... What's the purpose of VAR if they're not going to come in on something like that? It was a penalty. Steve, did you envisage the game going the way it did, or were you disappointed that for all our really good possession in the first half, we didn't get enough shots off in a game that we had to win? It was a one-goal game. The first half is, is, is what it was. We, we dominated the ball. We had enough of the ball. We didn't create quite enough. When it opened up a little bit towards the end, we created chances. We couldn't find the composure just to put the ball in the net. But that's what we are. That's the way we are. It was always going to be a tough night against a good team. Next question, please. Sorry, me again, Steve. <laughs> Can you sum up how you feel just personally just now, the, the, the kind of disappointment? Because... Four points was the target, qualification for the knockout stages was the aim, and it hasn't happened. So how, how, how are you left feeling at this point? Same as everyone else is Scottish, I would imagine. Sad. Disappointed and sad. That's it. Steve, has, has the lack of goals or goal scorers been, been an issue? We, we, there was a fear coming into the campaign that there wasn't enough goals in the squad? Not for us. I, I think it's very difficult to sit here and and analyse and understand why he's asking the questions, but f sometimes after a, a defeat like that, you need a little bit of time just to digest everything and, and work out how the game went, why the game went that way. Like I said, we had a lot of the ball, but we didn't probably create enough, but we did create enough chances to score a goal. That, that's clear. So, is that why we went out of the tournament? Well, we scored two goals this time. We only scored one the last time. Uh, no, nah. it's, it's, it's something for me to go away and think about, speak to my coaches and and try and work on something going into the future as to how we can score more goals at, at certain times in games. Yeah, for sure. Port Károly Nemzeti Sport Online. Hogy látja, hogy egyetért az, hogy a jobbik csapat jutott tovább, a harcosabb csapat, amelyiknek a végén is megvoltak a helyzete és nem adta föl? Sorry, no translation. No translation. Excuse me, could you repeat, please, your question? Again, please. Do you agree with the Hungarian was the better team? No. I thought it was a very even match between two good teams. So, no, I don't agree. Okay, last one, Alan. Steve, you said that uh, Alan Patolo from the Scotsman, you said the players gave everything. D did injuries fatally compromise the squad before the ball was kicked at this tournament, sir? I never speak about injuries. It's my, it's, it's my default. Maybe when we go away, maybe when we sit down over a cup of coffee in three or four weeks' time or whenever it is, maybe then we can discuss the impact of the people that weren't here. I'd much rather just be sad with the people that are here. That's more important to me at this moment in time. Okay. Okay, okay so thank you very much, thank Steve you. Clark.